John Salisbury has really spread the football around today. Five different people have caught passes from Salisbury, who sprints to his left, throws back over the middle, intended for Rhymes, and a play comes down. Forward pass interference, Hamilton number 16, first down. Howard Fields is caught coming over the back of the receiver. I thought his timing looked pretty good. I would say it did. Al Bruno was most distraught over that call. But the Bombers are on the tight cat 14 with a first down. Jesse carrying for three. Frank Robinson got a hold of his leg early and brought him down. And maybe twisted that leg a little bit while making the tackle as Jesse stays down. You know, Al Bruno understands that injuries are part of football, as every coach does. You know, you think about other head coaches that have had to deal with them, Bob Obilovich, Joe Faragelli. But when the injuries come from things like spider bites, Jim Rockford had his foot bitten by a spider just innocently a week or so ago, and his foot blew up to the size of a watermelon. Tony Champion's in the sauna relaxing and a light bulb breaks, falls down, inflicts a, a 10 inch or a 10 stitch cut in his leg. You just wonder when it's gonna stop. Yeah, they've had some weird things happen to them, Neil, and of oh. course, uh, Kerrigan and Mike Walker going up for the season with uh, Kerrigan a shoulder injury, Walker with a torn bicep. The, the two, probably the two best players on their team if to make that statement. And yet they've uh, they've bounced back and they're in the East semifinal and they lead by two points with a minute 20 left third quarter. But the Bombers are second down and seven at the Hamilton 11 yard line. Salisbury throws has a man open. It's Cochran and he's to the three. Terry Cochran becomes the sixth man to catch a football from Sean Salisbury. Cochran just straight out into the flat, the other two receivers to that side, go down and break inside. You saw Cochran just to the left, 31, goes in motion, so he gets a good jump on the man in coverage. And those other two receivers really end up not picking, but blocking off any pursuit. Tim Jesse back in to replace Cochran, first and goal, Bombers, Hamilton four. Jesse has the ball, and he has a touchdown. Good tough running for only four yards, but just far, far enough to get him in. Look at him, just slugging it in here. He's going through three or four people. He stopped by Flago, but that spin takes him into the end zone, and you can't fumble in the end zone. Trevor Kennard will attempt to add the convert, which he does, and the Blue Bombers have regained the lead. It's now 25 to 20, Winnipeg. 